Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about the similarities of, you know, I would say like how the wicked eat and how the righteous eat. Because the righteous, they're eating from the tree of life, all right? They're eating the fruits of the tree of life. All right. While the wicked are having uh, the meal, basically, of, of, of they're, they're, they're eating basically off the plate of the devil. OK, of the wicked. All right. You know, the, the things they indulge in all right, are just full blown wickedness. All right. You know, they eat the fruits of, uh, of the wicked. All right, and, and the things that they indulge in, all right, are not good for you. They're 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 it's death. It's like you know, like GMO um for for wickedness, you know what I mean? And the righteous are eating uh plentifully, all right. They're, they're eating things sufficient for them and, and give them nutrients so they could be spiritually fed properly. But the wicked they're eating all kinds of abominations. You know, they're eating anything that's abominable uh, to their spirit, right? Which is why the wicked and the righteous are on two different paths, all right? You know, we are not the same. You know, they eat from the, the, dinner, dinner plate, the dinner plate of the devil, and we eat, we sup with the Lord, okay? So... You want to sup with the Lord, he'll sup with you, right? So the wicked, they have their meal and the righteous have their meal. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. It says, let thy talk be with the wise and all thy communication in the law of the most high. So, so we speak on the law and we teach the law, all right? We teach the law, statutes, commandments, all right? You know, Yahweh Shai spoke on, on, on keeping the law, all right? You know, he keep my father's commandments. You know, he said that, all right? So we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, all right? It says, let, it says, and let just men eat and drink with thee, and let thy glorying be in the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord. So those that keep the law, statutes, commandments are those that fear the Lord. All right. And those are the men that we can eat with. All right. We eat with men that are like minded. OK. And the Lord is going to sup with us because we're like minded with him. All right. So you want to you don't want to be unevenly yoked with unbelievers because they can't eat with us, man. They can't sit at the same table as us. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 4 and 16. It says, for they sleep not except they have done mischief and they sleep and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. This is what the wicked do. They can't even sleep unless they come up with some type of mischief. All right. You look up mischief. It means to be bad, to be evil. All right. To be wicked. All right, it says, verse 17, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. So they're just wicked and violent, man. All right. And the Bible says, ye are of your father, the devil. All right. And he was a murderer from the beginning. So all you Israelites out there that are want to take on the, or the customs and, and the lifestyle of the wicked, man, this is, you're a part of this, man. You eating from the same table as them. All right. And the Lord is not dealing with you. He's not, he's not going to sup with you. He's not going to eat with you. He's not going to feed you. All right. All right. <laughs> Matter of fact, it say you that in Isaiah, you know, 
Uh, matter of fact, uh, let me see. Uh, let me get that. Yeah, servant shall eat. I forget exactly what verse it is, but uh, mm, let me see this. yep, Isaiah sixty-five and thirteen. It says, "And therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, my servants shall eat, and, and ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink." but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So the ones that are going to be ashamed are the ones that eat with the wicked. But those that eat with the Lord, he's going to feed them. He's going to prepare a meal for them. Just like he has prepared uh, in my father's house are many mansions. He, Yahweh Shai said, I better go prepare one for you. So the Lord's always preparing for his servants. Man, He's always going to take care of his servants. All right? But the Lord is not dealing with those that eat from the table of the wicked. All right. So the Lord's going to feed his servants and he's going to cast away the wicked. They can't eat with the, with the righteous. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.